Here is how to revise for A-level physics with only a few weeks to go. Step number one, make sure that you have revised the entire specification. This can easily be found online. You need to go over every single point and ensure that you are confident with it. This can be done with a textbook, your teacher's notes, a revision guide. I also have a playlist covering the entirety of A-level physics that I'm going to link in the description. Going over the specification requires time and one of the things that you can do to ensure that you get more time in a day is to avoid any distractions. For instance, have a look at your on-screen time and see if there's any ways that you can improve it. Something as simple as putting your phone on airplane mode might actually mean the difference between a grade on the final exams. Our next step is timed pass papers. Make sure to have solved every available pass paper out there. They should be really easy to find on your exam boards website or physics and maths tutor. Now here is something really important. The marking of the paper is as valuable to your learning as actually sitting the paper. Look for any patterns that keep on appearing, particularly in describe and explain questions or common instruments and equipment that are accepted in the mark schemes for experimental questions. Don't ignore the examiner's report. They provide unique insights into what students found different difficult statistically speaking and the most common mistakes. Make sure that you go over those topics in great detail and that you understand every single one of those questions as this will put you at a statistical advantage. Check out my last minute revision sessions before each paper by exam board. They'll be over four hours long. I'm going to cover the crucial parts of the specification and I'll be answering every single question that you have for me. I'll leave the link in the description. Don't limit yourselves to problems from your exam board only. A huge portion of A-level physics is very similar, in particular doing all the multiple choice questions from a different exam board will be excellent practice for your particular exam. Looking at other exam boards is very helpful for topics which are problems based. For instance, motion, forces, electricity, further mechanics, and so on. On the other hand, you should avoid this technique for topics which are purely knowledge-based, such as medical physics, for instance, in which case it's best to stick to your own exam board. If a question doesn't make sense, do not ignore it. Ask yourselves, why did you not score that mark? There are typically a few different reasons. Reason number one, it was just a silly error. These happen from time to time to absolutely everyone and are usually the most common mistake for losing a mark. One of the things that I do to try and limit them is every time I'm writing out for instance t squared, whenever I see a square, I know that I'm statistically likely to miss out the square in the next line of the equations, so I just subconsciously remind myself not to do that. Number two, simply not knowing a fact. For instance, not recalling the path difference required for constructive interference and then potentially leaving a guess in an exam situation. If that's the case, the fix is relatively simple and that will be to go over that particular topic. Please note that if you can't recall this particular fact, you're likely um, not being able to recall other facts around it, so make sure to do a full revision around the topic of path difference, for instance. Number three, a new problem solving approach that you've just not encountered before. These are great to find as they provide the best learning opportunity. Once, <coughs> once you have solved that and understood the mark scheme, that question can go into your bank of solved questions that are ready to go to help you tackle new problems. Please note that occasionally in A-level physics, there will be some mark particularly on describe and explain questions that even seasoned professionals might miss due to some very specific wording. If that's the case, the best thing to do would be to remember the problem and should this type of problem appear again, you will be ready to tackle it. Otherwise, in describe and explain questions, the best thing to do is to think about what happens in the actual physics behind it. Are there any equations that can help me answer the question? I would also say, but one paper for the week right before the exam 
so that you'll be able to do that fully in exam conditions. Also importantly, in A-level physics, there are certain statements that are practically guaranteed to give you marks. And to ensure that you get the best chance for marks, you need to have a look at this video right over here in which I cover statements just like that.